dryer coming online. One more fan. The lights are hard to see. The sun is right on these things. There we go. It'll purge. It'll yell. It'll not yell. It'll say burner ready. And then I know that it's time to press this. I won't be able to film while I do that. The gas line I turn on. I have to regulate the temperature just so it doesn't overshoot itself for a second. You can see it's calling for green. That's why the wet tank just got quiet for a second because all the cords going through there, going into the dryer. Now we watch our temperature rise. It was at 50. We're probably going to aim to run it around 200 at the least with 25% corn, probably closer to 220. Um, to let it warm up, we'll probably take it to about 170, 180. I'll try to stop it there. We got like a hand valve down here. And then uh, we can kind of crank it up from there. Oh, let me point you guys up there. There it is. So we're climbing. We're going to have some steam rolling here soon. So here's inside those 45,000 bushel bins. You can see we've had a pile. The uh, any trash that you got, foreign material, cob, tends to work itself to the outer edge and then the fines tend to work themselves towards the middle. What you can do to counter that is to run a spreader. So I got the spreader on, which basically is gonna help cast out the corn instead of just making one pile. Uh, especially if your dryer dumps hot, you do, do not want that. Where our dryer dumps pretty cool, but still it's good practice to spread it out so that you don't get any uh, hot spots where they like the mold and then you limit your airflow and you, uh, you can have problems with the grain storage over the winter. So spreader on, um, I might leave this door open and try to show you guys the corn coming in here, but it gets dusty fast and then I'll have to slam the door. So always good practice to check the grain leg and what bin it's set for. For those of you who are wondering how you switch the grain leg, what bin, step down on this and you can spin it whatever bin you want it to go in. So that's where it comes out of the dryer and that's where we can bypass the dryer with the soybean if we need to. Or in a fluke that the corn's dry enough, but not this year. Around 200, we're gonna go a little more yet, but let's get it unloading. There's a big roller. They got like, almost look like blades and they just roll around on a drum. And they take like a, Obviously there's a little bit of stuff at the bottom just because it's been sitting for two weeks, but that's how the corn goes through the dryer. Let's run over to the bin. We'll be coming through any second here. It's gonna hurt. I gotta put my sunglasses on. Here it comes. Woo! It's raining. Always open the door to check through the to make the check sure the uh, uh, sweaters on. Uh, you can hear it. It sounds like it's raining. It's hitting the walls instead of going down in the pile. If it's quiet, you know something happened to the spreader. The squeaking you hear is also just because the Utrops have sat for a little couple weeks. There's wood hanger bearings, basically. They're like uh, the wood blocks in some of the areas, so it's just squeaking. Just go wear in, and uh, that's just how they are. Um, it works great. All right, we're now dialed in. 218 degrees. Our fans are all running. Our burners are all running. Our unload is on, or our loading is on, and our unload is on. So on each, it's rolling to drop it down. This is a continuous flow dryer. It means it's always dumping. There's some dryers that are called batch dryers. And they dry the whole batch, they dump the whole thing, they refill, they dry, they dump the whole thing. This always has corn flowing down on both sides. Continuous flow. That flow is always coming out. So you can imagine how fast we're drying corn. You can see we're starting to get steam. The corn that was in there before was already dry because we baked it down when it was sitting in the dryer for two weeks. We didn't want it to rot in there and not flow. 
Now that we're getting that 25% corn in there on the top, you can see the moisture starting to steam off. Those first few points, those percentage of moisture come off really fast. And then it works its way down. We're trying to get it down below 15%. So we're taking at least 10 points off this corn. Steam is always really cool to watch, especially at night when the yard lights come on. Oh, that's cute. I left my blinker on pulling in here. That's all right. Um, the other trailer, it's just not my day. I've been up for 31 hours now. I worked last night. I just come straight out here. Uh, borderline like a fat joke on myself, but I stood up on this and for whatever reason it broke free. I had my hand up here on it and I slid down. I, I don't know what I caught it. If I caught it on this on the other trip, I don't know. I sliced my pinky open next to my nail. Just throbs. Uh, did a quick farmer paper towel electrical tape to control the bleeding. Went back and uh, cleaned it out. Cut off the dead skin and uh, wrapped it up with some uh, antibiotic cream, whatever you want to call it in there. So back to back to sending it. Just prior to sunset, did the quick uh, run around. Everything's still running. Um, I got the dryer set where I like it. It's kicking it out uh, very nice and dry. Happy with that. Let's run and get another load. They're still going. Absolute mess. Absolute mess. Right in the path of that F2 tornado. Um, so this was earlier tonight. I had it at 12.7% moisture. Um, I think that was mixed in with some of the stuff that was still in there. I still slowed it down. I still had a feeling that the I wasn't getting the actual like all what we were picking today. And my guess was right. Uh, about an hour and a half later, 14.48%. So we're right on the money right now. So I like that a lot. Um, I'm actually dumping the last truck for the night right now. I've been up for three, so 34 hours now, almost 35. I'm dumping this truck. I'm shutting the dryer off when I get to the back hopper, shutting the spreader off, the dry leg, the U, you know, the U trough, the spreaders, everything, and I'm going to bed. So. Rock and roll. You really can't see it's kind of dark, but it is steaming off. Very neat. Sucking in a lot of corn. And uh, fortunately, I'm going to shut her down here. It'll have plenty of time to keep up with us tomorrow with working on that down corn. We're not going to be able to catch the dryer. So I'm not worried about that. Otherwise, we'd let it run later. But it's about 9 30, and I've been up too long. I need to go home. So shut her down. The uh, turn off process. You hold the fans on, you shut off your burners, leave the fans run. Uh, the temperature drops rapidly when it's 40 degrees out. I shut it off about 15 seconds ago, it's dropped about 40 degrees. So the steam comes right off. You can hear it getting louder in the wet bin. The dryer has just finished filling. Um, I've shut off the unload. Uh, so uh, there won't be a need to put any more in unless it shrinks a little bit. But uh, I'm going to let this cool down and get it as close as I can to air temperature so I don't damage anything. And then uh, I've shut off the unloading. So now I can go run around and I'm going to shut off all my dry, the dry leg, the U-trough, and the spreader right now. Just, it's too dark to show you guys that. It's not dark, but it'll switch here, switch there, and it'll switch across the street there. So wham, bam, done. That's gonna be it for this one, guys. Uh, quite a bit of footage today, actually. Um, you know, we got quite a bit done. If you know, if the tangled corn, acres-wise, not so much, but it, it's that's the way that those areas are gonna be. So, this truck's almost done emptying. I'm shutting it off. I'm shutting this uh, dump pit light off. I'm going home. So, with that, uh, you guys have a good night as well. Be safe, and we'll check you later.